previously on A Long Time Coming. Only an hour and a half away from Rapid City, we are driving into another world, Badlands National Park. What do you think? This place is so special. I'm really happy to be here. Owen and I have history here. The last time we laid eyes on this unforgettable landscape was 10 years ago. In 2012, we were fresh out of college and hungered to get to know the country that we both called home but knew nothing about. Wanting to see for ourselves, we packed our hand-me-down camping gear into my Honda Element and took to the road to see how far our meager savings accounts could take us. We managed to stretch the money for six months and nearly circumnavigated the lower 48. When we arrived in Badlands National Park, the sun was setting and a warm breeze rolled in off the plains. We stood there taking in the scene, overwhelmed by the feeling of truly being far away for the first time. In that moment, I knew our lives would never be the same, even though I didn't exactly know how yet. In 2016, we took to the road for the second time to chase that feeling and the inspiration that comes from being immersed in new surroundings. Now we have nearly seven years of traveling under our belt and have traversed most of North America. But we've always wondered if this place would have the same gravity it did 
all those years ago. Badlands National Park isn't just a pretty place. It's a significant paleontological resource. Over the years, countless important specimens have been found to fill in the details of a prehistoric time when this area was the shores of a massive inland sea. In the visitor center, we had a great conversation with the scientists in the fossil lab who mentioned that regular people find fossils in the park nearly every day. So you can actually see like with roots and stuff. Yeah. Oh, that's so cool. The, the earth wasn't too kind, kind of this, this one. one. <laughs> um, and it, it came out of the park, I'm assuming? Yep, all the fossils in here come out awesome. of the park. How often are you guys finding new? Every day. That was all I needed to hear. Yeah, so what it was gonna be over 100 degrees that day. I wanna find fossils. I want my picture on that wall. Almost immediately, we were finding fossils. Some pretty big chunks over here. This is insane. So what's going on? Uh, I just found this bone right here. Uh, which is pretty big, and there's some similar colored pieces, so I would imagine it's from the same thing. But it looks like the, maybe the connecting portion of a larger, a larger bone. Here is some larger pieces, and there's a bunch sticking out, and then there's some coming out from up here and laying across. Looks to be a pretty decent concentration. We were blown away by how much luck we were having. Teeth bones of various sizes, and shells, lots of them. This one is also a shell, but this one has a little bit of its original enamel on it. We 
We hadn't been out there for all that long and we're finding so many fossils. So it begs the question, how much is out here for complete amateurs such as ourselves to be having so much success? After well over an hour of wandering around, the heat was starting to get to us. We felt we had found more than enough to warrant reporting what we had found and their locations to the park rangers as we had been instructed to do. We were just about to leave and found this bone, which starts here. And as far as we can see, ends here. Call that like a good foot long. Maybe the best find of the day. I mean, that's insane. Still in total disbelief, we snapped some pictures of the bone, dropped a pin on Onyx to share the coordinates with the rangers, and headed back to the visitor center to turn it in. The two paleontologists on staff were elated over my find and immediately started speculating about what it could be. Based on the location and previous finds in that area, they suspected it was likely the leg bone of a titanothere, which is a prehistoric rhino horse hybrid. Or an Archaeotherium, an animal from a completely extinct genus that can be described as a prehistoric pig the size of a bison. This was by far the best fossil I have ever found. For turning it into the park, they gave me this sweet patch, which is now my favorite out of our entire patch collection. Does feel colder. What the? Who are you? Red tail hawk. So happy that this is so big and it takes me a while to eat. <laughs> Gives me time to put it down and then re remember that we're having mochi and get excited about it again. We were predicted to get another hot day of 100 plus degrees. Desperate for air conditioning, we headed to Minuteman Missile National Historic Site, which we had overlooked the last time we were in the area. Well, I do say that our defense is not only strong, it is awesome. Earth or water. The proportions, I think, off the height of the bird. 
a little over a third of the energy appears as thermal radiation, heat, light, and ultraviolet rays. About 5% appears as initial nuclear radiation. After leaving the missile site with heavy hearts, we stopped in to see the prairie dog colony, which brought some much-needed levity. We've always had a soft spot for prairie dogs because they can always be counted on for a laugh. This is one of their territorial calls. I know they're trying to be intimidating, but they just look like they're tossing their heads back in anguish. It's adorable, and I can't get enough of it. Crossing paths with our first road trip for a few days put a lot into perspective. It was impossible to ignore just how far we've come and how proud we've made a younger version of ourselves. Despite the austere landscape of the Badlands, coming back here felt like a homecoming and a reminder of why we're out here. We have an infatuation with being far away and deprived of familiarity. It brings all of our senses into focus in a way that nothing else does. After all these years, everything has changed. And nothing has changed.
on the next episode of A Long Time Coming. Baby's first paddle strokes. So the wind's picking up. Should be fun for the paddle back. little alcove. This peak is a good defining feature. And the bone is in the small rock kind of in the middle by itself. Ah! Oh, we're so <laughs> Very excited about this. Okay, I think I just saw some lightning over that way, so we should probably get in. Okay. the most chaotic nights of sleep we've ever had. It was the craziest wind and it like barely made it below 80 degrees. At least the view is good, you wanna see it? Dang. <laughs>